What's up, OCC gang? We are at Walgreens. I'm about to go in. Oh my gosh, it is loud. What is going on today? I'm about to go in and do a quick, easy deal so we can, you know, at least do a Walgreens deal, at least one deal this week. Okay, so I'm about to start telling y'all about this deal, but I want to really, really stress something. I say it every time, but I don't know if it just goes over people's heads or what. And I'm not mocking you or anything, but I just want to make it super clear this time. You have to get the right toothpaste. You cannot get the toothpaste that you want. You have to get the toothpaste that's in the promotion. We're about to do a toothpaste deal. Every toothpaste, every toothpaste by that brand is not included. Only specific ones, and I'll show you the specific ones, but you have to be ready to only get specific boxes of toothpaste. You can't just go pick up three of whatever you want and say, hey, I didn't get my rewards back. You have to get specific boxes, okay? The first thing we're gonna get is gonna be three of the Crest toothpaste. There's this promotion right here. It says buy three and get $4 back. So we're going to buy three. This is the promotion that we're doing. Buy three and get $4 back. And if you wanna know when this deal expires, it's right here on the bottom of the tag. Always read the tag. This is the promotion that we're doing. You don't want to go down to a tag that has this promotion because we're not doing this one. And that's what happens all the time. People say, hey, I went and got three crisp toothpaste, three boxes, just like you said, and I didn't get the $4 back. That's because you're doing the wrong promotion. Okay, so we're focusing on this promotion right here. Buy three and get $4 back. There are several varieties included. This tag says that the 3D White Arctic Fresh is included, and that's this. This tag says that the 3D White Radiant Mint is included, and that's this. Let's keep looking down here. This one says, this tag says that the Clean Mint is included, and there's Clean Mint. And this tag says that the Scope Mint is included, and that's here. So there may be others that are included, but you've got to be looking for that tag. I see another one right here. This is also included, and this is something different. We don't usually get these, that's kind of cute. But these are also included. They're $3, that's the sale. They're on sale for $3, and we're gonna be getting three. So if we get three, that's $9. So we're at $9, and now we're gonna go on the Walgreens app, and we're using this coupon for $5 off. Remember, you're at $9, and with this coupon, you're going to get $5 off. It says, get $5 off when you buy three. They have to be three ounces or more, and we know the ones we're looking at are three ounces or more, so these are good to go. So we're getting three of them, that's $9, and we're gonna save $5. That brings us out to pay $4 at the register, but what does the tag say? we're going to get $4 back. So yes, we're gonna pay $4 at the register, but we're going to get $4 back. So if you're doing this deal with me, go ahead and pick up three of the crests. Remember, it has to be one of the ones that we just talked about. Pick up three of the crests and clip this coupon for $5 off, and we're going to the next deal. For our next item, we're going to be getting two of the Colgate Total toothpaste. Colgate Total is on sale for $2.99, but there's this promotion when you buy two, you get $3 back in Walgreens points. So we're gonna buy two, that equals $5.98. We're buying two, that's $5.98. And we're gonna use a coupon. So now I'm just gonna scan this toothpaste on the Walgreens app and see what coupons we have available for this toothpaste. I'm just scanning and it says we have this coupon right here for three dollars off when we buy two so we're buying two for $5.98 this coupon is going to take three dollars off see three dollars off when you buy two so we're buying two that's going to take three dollars off that brings us down to two dollars and 98 cent that we have to pay and we're still going to get three dollars back so we pay 2.98 and we get $3 back. So this is a really good deal. So if you wanna do this deal with me, let me walk you through it one more time. Get two of the Colgate. 
put that coupon for $3 off, you'll end up paying $2.98, but you'll get $3 back. So this is what the cart looks like now. I know we have a ton of toothpaste, but trust me, this is going to be a good deal. We have the three crests, and we have that $5 off coupon, $5 off when you buy three. And we have two Colgate total, and we have that coupon for $3 off when you buy two Colgate total. Now, what I'm going to do to make this an even better deal is I'm going to go ahead and get the Colgate Max Fresh. Even though it seems like this is like way too much toothpaste, I still think it's going to be a good deal. After all is said and done, this is pretty much going to be free for us. So, I'm going to get one of these. Let me scan it to see what coupons are available. So when I scanned this Colgate Max Fresh, this coupon came up to save $3 on Colgate Max Fresh. This one is different from the other coupon. The other coupon was to save $3 when you buy two Colgate Total SF and it had a lot of other varieties on there as well but this one has saved $3 when you buy any two Colgate Max Fresh so I can get two of these and use this coupon okay so getting two of these for $2.99 that's $5.98 I'm going to use this $3 off coupon that leaves me to pay $2.98 but according to this tag I'm going to get $3 back in Walgreens money so I'm just going to add two of these to my transaction and now we have a cart full of toothpaste for no reason so I'm gonna go ahead and check out because this is getting out of hand but after I check out everything should come out to about $9.98 plus tax you can pay for that with points if you have points like if you have ten dollars in points use points if you don't have any points you can expect to pay ten dollars out of your pocket and you can expect to get about $10 back, okay? So you're, you're looking at about $10 out of your pocket, $10 plus tax. But then you're going to get $10 back to spend on anything else that you want in the store. And y'all, they have some pretty good deals in here. So I'm going to pay for this. I'm going to use points. But like I said, if you don't have any points, you're going to pay $10 out of your pocket. If you have points, you use $10 in points, pay nothing but your tax and you'll still get $10 back. Okay, so I just got up here with the register. My stuff just got rang up, but the cashier had to run and go get paper for the register reward printer. So I'm glad she mentioned that because guys, oh my gosh, I would have just like been crying if my rewards didn't print, so whew. Okay guys, so the transaction went perfectly. It went exactly like we talked about. So I got the three crest. I used that $5 off digital coupon. I got four Colgate. I used a $3 off coupon for two of them and another $3 off coupon for the other two of them. My total came out to, after coupons, my total came out to $9.96 plus tax. Okay, so it came out to $9.96 plus tax. I told the cashier I would like to use points and I used points to pay, so I only had to pay the tax. So for me, this was all free because I used points. But I want to say it again, if you don't have any points, you will pay that $9.96 plus tax out of your pocket, okay? If you don't have points, your total is going to be $9.96 plus tax. You have to pay that out of your pocket. Now let's talk about what you'll get back. So after you pay the $9.96 plus tax, so I'll round it up to $10. So after you pay the $10, here's what you can expect to get back. The first thing I got back was $4. Okay, so we paid $10 and already we got $4 back. Next, I got back six dollars in points. You see that bonus points right where it says bonus points. I got back six dollars. So all together, I got ten dollars back. We paid ten and got back ten. For those of you who use points like me, you didn't really pay anything but tax, and you still got ten dollars back. So whether you pay ten dollars out of your pocket and get ten dollars back, or if you pay with points, pay nothing and get ten dollars back, this is still a great deal. At the end of the day, it just feels like we all are spending 10 and getting 10 back. So now I'm gonna go spend the $10 that I got back. We got $4 here and $6 in points on our account. So I'm gonna look around and see what deals they have. I'm pretty sure they have some other great deals in the store. So let's go look around at some deals, put something together. Then we'll use this $10 to get something else. So the all detergent is $2.88 and we have a coupon on the Walgreens app for a dollar off. So that would make it only 188 and I think that would be one of the good ways for you to spend that money that we just got back. I mean, if you like this detergent, 188 in my opinion, is a pretty good price. 
So I'm down here by the Snuggle, guys, and Snuggle is also included on this same coupon for the All. So you would have to choose one or the other, the All or the Snuggle, but this coupon definitely covers them. So if you like Snuggle more, you might want to go with the Snuggle instead of going with the All detergent. Another great way to spend that money will be right here on the Tide Simply. It's only $2.99 and we have this coupon for $1 off, which makes it only $1.99. I think that's a really good deal for Tide, Tide Simply. And between the all detergent and the Thai Simply, you have some pretty good options now. Guys, Ajax is still 99 cents, but my store doesn't have any more. But I'll show you that tag just in case your store has any. But if your store still has Ajax, you can see right there on the tag, that deal is good through August 29th. And Ajax will only be 99 cents, which is a pretty, pretty good deal. So if you can find some of that, that would be a good laundry deal. Also, on that coupon that said Thai Simply, bounce was also included with that coupon so if you want to get bounce you could also save a dollar with that same coupon but you have to choose one or the other either the tide simply or the bounce now i didn't see any really good bounce products on sale but the tide coupon also covers downy let's read that coupon together it says one tide simply laundry detergent or downy or bounce so this downy is also included and it's $2.99 but with this coupon it would make it $1.99 so you do have some options that are on sale with this coupon tight simply or this downy so here's a deal that I think would be really good to spend that money on right here these bags these little snack bags and you guys know I get them all the time they're buy one get two free you buy one for $2.79 and you get two free. So that's like getting three for $2.79 basically. So this would be a really good way to spend that money. You get three for $2.79. They have lots of sizes, lots of varieties. Well, this store doesn't have as many <laughs> sizes and varieties, but they do have these big ones back there. I hope y'all can see those. And they're all included by one, get two free. So that's three for $2.79. I think that would be a really good way to spend some of that money that we got back. So this is definitely one of the items that I want to spend some of that money that we got back on. Check it out. These paper towels are already a good deal at only $5 for six equals seven. But there's a coupon in the Walgreens book or on the Walgreens app. You can use it however you want to. There's one in the Walgreens book. And there's one on the app. I just clipped the one on the app. It's a lot easier. But it's for $1.25 off, which only leaves you to pay $3.75 for these paper towels. I always get this because it's such a great value. $3.75 plus I love paper towels. So this is one of the things that I'm definitely going to do. Guys, so I just scanned the Scott paper towels just to be sure and check it out. I have two coupons for the Scott paper towels. One of them is for $125 off, so that brings us down to $375, but the other one is a manufacturer's coupon for a dollar off. That brings us down to just $275 for the Scott Paper Towels. That's a much better deal, so I'm definitely going to get these. So another good way to spend that money that we just got back would be right here on the L'Oreal. This L'Oreal is two for eight. That's the sale, two for eight, but we have a couple coupons that we can use with this. We have a coupon for $4 off two. So they're two for eight, but if we use this $4 off coupon, that brings us down to two for four. And then we can also use this $2 coupon next to it. That brings us down to two for two, which is a great deal, y'all. That makes them a dollar each. Two for two is an amazing deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two of those and add it to my transaction. Now, since this is a beginner video, I will say that again. We're gonna get two L'Oreal. Well, I'm gonna get two L'Oreal. You get any products that you want to with the money that you got back. I'm getting two of the L'Oreal. They're two for eight. I'm gonna use that $4 off coupon on the app. That brings me down to two for four. I'm also gonna use that $2 off coupon on the app. That brings me down to two for two. Now, why can I use two coupons? Why can I stack coupons here when I usually can't? Well, that's because one of the coupons is a store coupon, a Walgreens coupon. That means Walgreens is offering it. And the other coupon is a manufacturer, which means L'Oreal is offering that one. When one is a store coupon and one is a manufacturer coupon, you can use both. So if Walgreens is offering one, and the company is offering one, we can use them both. Those are the rules here at Walgreens, so we get to use both coupons, which leaves us to only pay a dollar per bottle. Another really good way to spend that money would be on the Pop-Tarts. They're $1.99, and we have a coupon for 50 cents off. 
So that would be good. That would make them only $149 for Pop-Tarts if your family likes those. But if they like cereal more, you could get the cereal. The cereal is $199. I think this is what I'm going to get. It's $199, but we have this coupon for $0.50 cents off. So it makes the cereal, a whole box of cereal, only $149, which is a really good beginner price if you're really new to couponing 149 is a great price for a box of cereal now pop tarts cereal and let's see there's some more options down here nature valley bars are 188 and there's a coupon on the app for a dollar off when you buy two so this might be something you want to consider because you can get a dollar off just for buying two and my store doesn't have them but it's not just on these nature valley bars it's also on some of the Fiber One items, but this store doesn't have any of that. But if your store has the Fiber One and the Nature Valley and you like those, hey, 188 is already a good price and then you could save an additional dollar when you buy two. So before I show you what items I chose to buy with the $10 that we got back, let me give you a quick OCC lesson. Now, this is a beginner's video, so it is my duty to explain this to you. Now, do you remember like way back in the olden days, like five minutes ago when we got that $10 back? Well, there are certain ways that you have to spend that money. Now check this out, the $4, we can spend it back on anything. But with the $6 in points that we got back, there are some things that you need to know, and that's what I'm gonna explain to you right now. Now, don't get nervous or anything like that, but there are some things that you need to pay attention to when you want to spend that $6. So take a look at the Walgreens points redemption tiers. You see that a thousand points equals a dollar. That means you can spend a thousand points at any time. 2000 points is $2. We have 3000 points, 4000 points, 5000 points is $5, but there's no 6,000 points. Do you see that? We just earned 6,000 points. So how will we even spend are 6,000 points when they don't allow you to redeem 6,000 points. Hmm. So if I go through the line with $6 worth of stuff, I won't be able to say, excuse me, I want to use $6 in points because you can see right here on their points redemption center, they don't allow $6 in points to be redeemed at one time. It skips from $5 to $10 to $20. You can't go in the store and say, I want to redeem $11 in points because you don't see $11 represented there. And so a lot of people get confused because people say, well, I have like $15 in points. So I'm going to go in there and get my kids some diapers and get some milk. And that's like $15 worth and I'm going to use my points. Well, guess what? There's no 15 on this points redemption tier system. So how do you end up using your points when you have an odd number of points? That is so easy, but we overlook it all the time. So I'm going to explain it to you right now. Let's say you do have $15 in points that you want to spend. The easiest solution, the easiest answer would be getting $10 worth of something, paying for that with your $10 in points, and going back through the line with your other item that equals about $5 and paying for that with your $5 in points. We see $10 here and we see $5 here, so we could use 10 at one time and we could use five at one time, but we can't use 15 at one time. Do you see what I'm saying? So when you have an odd number, like we just earned $6 in points, what are we gonna do? Well, the answer for me is easy. I could go through the line and I'll get $5 worth of something. And I'll say, excuse me, I wanna use $5 in points. And then for my next transaction, I'll come and I'll use that last dollar and I'll get something for a dollar and tell them, yes, I wanna use $1 in points. Or you could use $3 and $3 and that's your $6. Or you could use $4 and $2 and that's your $6. But the fact of the matter is we earned an additional $6 in points that we want to use because it's our money and we can definitely use it, but be creative about the way that you use it because you can't go up there and say, yeah, I want to use $6 at once. So you're going to have to get really creative. We know we have that $4 in paper money that we earn. So that's four of our dollars plus the $6 in points that we have. So when you're doing your math, I don't want to confuse you, but when you're doing your math, make sure that you say, okay, I have $4 to spend free and clear. I know that's not going to give me a problem, but for that extra $6, hmm, let me do the math to make sure I'm doing this right. But I wanted to explain that to you now. If you're like, ain't nobody got time for all this math, Erica, then the best thing for you to do would be to just get $10 worth of stuff, go through the line, Give your $4 over, tell them you want to use $5 in points, and your total will come out to about a dollar plus tax. That would be the easiest thing. If you don't feel like doing all of this math, just go get your $10 worth of stuff, 
hand over what you have, tell them I want to use as many points as I can. And then your total will only come out to about a dollar. But if you guys get that math precisely, you won't have to pay anything. Okay, so this is everything that I got for the whole day. I did the Crest and the Colgate deal and got $10 back. With the $10 that I got back, I decided to get Frosted Flakes, L'Oreal, Downy, and Snuggle. Oh, and Scott Paper Towels, can't forget those. So I got $10 back from the first deal. I used that to pay for the second deal. I handed over that $4 in paper money and I redeemed $5 in points. Now, I didn't break up my transactions, calculating points and stuff like that. The power went out in the store and I was ready to go. By the time they even got to my turn in line, I had been waiting in line for like, not even in line. I, I got out of line and walked around. They were waiting on a power to come back on y'all. It was a mess. So I had to stand in the store, like walking around, doing nothing for 30 minutes just to check out. So I didn't even feel like, you know, doing two transactions. I was ready to go. So I put all of my stuff together, like the paper towels, the L'Oreal, the Downy, the Snuggle, the Kellogg's. I put all of that together and just handed over my $4, that register reward, that paper money that we had. I handed over that $4 and I was like, listen, I just want to redeem $5 in points. Even though we had $6 and I could have broke up my transactions, I was like, listen, take this $4 let me redeem $5 in points and let me get up out of here. My total came out to $5.68 and I used $5 in points. No, $5.86 and I used, let me look at the receipt, y'all. I don't know why I'm sitting here trying to remember this off the top of my head. My total came out to $5.86. Yeah, my total came out to $5.86 plus tax and um, I used $5 in points. So I only had to pay 86 cents out of my pocket. And um, yeah, I kept that extra dollar. You know, we got $6 back in points. But listen, I did not feel like breaking up my transactions, seeing as how I had to wait in the store between 30 to 40. It might have been longer than that. I'll have to ask my sister. But yeah, we were in there forever. Power went off. They said it was going to be a second before it came back on. And then like, it just never did. And I had already done the Crest and the Colgate deal and I was like okay so do I leave and go to another store and finish and they're like no the power's going to come back on but when it did y'all when the power did come back on the registers were not working like the registers weren't working so anyway long story short this is what I got with mine now if you want to do the deal the way I did it get the toothpaste do that deal use points if you have them pay nothing but tax and get ten dollars back if you don't have points, get the Crest and the Colgate, you'll pay $10 plus tax, and you'll get $10 back. With the $10 that I got back, I did the L'Oreal deal, Downy, Snuggle, and Frosted Flakes. I did all of those deals. My total came out to $5.86 plus tax. I paid that $0.86 cents plus tax, and I still have a dollar left over from that deal. But remember that long, drawn-out lesson that I gave about how you can break your transactions up if you want to? Go ahead and break it up. But if you want to do it the easy way, do exactly what I did. It was the easy way. Just pay $0.86 cents plus tax and save your other dollar for another day. Yeah, so I'm so sorry for the late video, y'all. I'm sorry to be giving y'all such a late Walgreens video so late in the week. But next week, hopefully, we'll be doing Walgreens and CVS earlier instead of later. All right, OCC gang, that's it for this video. Don't forget to give this video a like, a comment, and subscribe. All right, OCC gang, I'm out.